Welcome back to the channel. My name is John. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cheesy, meaty, crispy, Chicago style deep dish pizza. For the dough, we're going to start off with 250 grams, which is one cup plus two tablespoons of 110 degree warm water. Also seven grams or two and a half teaspoons of dry active yeast, seven grams or one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Once you've whisked your yeast and sugar together, you want to let it sit five to ten minutes and make sure it blooms like this. In the bowl of a food processor, combine the dry ingredients and butter. Blitz until the butter is broken down, about 15 to 20 seconds. With the food processor still running, pour in the water yeast mixture, then immediately pour in the extra virgin olive oil. Keep processing until the dough balls up, about 30 seconds. Transfer to a floured surface and knead by hand for 30 to 60 seconds until mostly smooth on the surface. Then you're going to want to place it in an oiled bowl, cover and let rise until doubled in size. For the sauce, make sure you're using good San Marzano tomatoes. I like to crush them by hand. I'll also add the sugar at this time to start getting it mixed in together. While you're doing this, you're going to want to heat up your Dutch oven over medium heat. Once your pot is up to temperature, add the extra virgin olive oil. Next I'll add the crushed garlic and the Cattleman Grills Italiano seasoning. Toast this for a minute or two to get the spices to release all their flavors. Next you'll add the San Marzano tomatoes. You're going to want to simmer this on a medium heat for probably 15 to 20 minutes.
Your sauce is ready when you draw a spatula through it and it doesn't immediately fill back in. You want to make sure your sauce is a little bit thicker for this type of pizza because you don't want a runny mess at the end. After your dough has doubled in size, you want to punch it back down, form it back into a ball, and place it in the refrigerator for at least a half an hour while you prepare your other ingredients. For my version of Chicago deep dish pizza, we like to add peppers, onions, and mushrooms. I like to pre-cook them about halfway just to release some of the moisture so again it doesn't make it a soupy mess at the end. You want your sauce on a little on the thicker side and in my opinion if you add any vegetables pre-cook them a little bit. Today I'm using my Rocket Fire Torch to light the grill. This time I'm trying it without the end attachment. You can use it either way. I'm trying to figure out which way works best for me. Once your dough has rested in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, you'll want to roll it out onto a floured surface. I rolled mine to about a quarter inch thickness. I needed to get it large enough to fit inside my 12 inch cast iron skillet. Coat your cast iron skillet with olive oil before placing the dough inside. Drape the pizza dough over the skillet. Push the dough down into the skillet, pressing the dough up against the sides as well to form a lip. In my case, I had a little bit extra dough, which I just cut off with a knife. Now we will assemble the pizza. For the toppings, we're going to use 16 ounces of low moisture mozzarella sliced a little bit on the thicker side. When I sent my sous chef to the grocery store today and I asked for thicker sliced mozzarella, this is what she came back with. 
regular sandwich slice size mozzarella would have been perfect. But in the end, it worked out just fine. Next, I'm going to add one pound of hot Italian sausage that we also picked up from the grocery store. I like to make little handful size patties, squish them out until they're about a quarter inch thick. I will then place them around the pizza to try to make one even layer of sausage. Next, we are going to add our pre-cooked vegetables, mushrooms, peppers, and onions. Next, we'll add the pizza sauce that we made. After you've got your sauce evenly distributed on the pizza, we're going to add the Urban Slicers white pizza mojo seasoning. At the end, we'll add the Parmesan cheese after it's cooked. Now it's time to add the pizza to the big green oven, which you've had it preheated at 425 degrees with the pizza oven attachment installed. After about 15 minutes, you're going to want to rotate to make sure it cooks even well. After about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the temperature of your grill, you want to check the internal temperature of the sausage to make sure it got to at least 165 degrees. Once your pizza is done, you're going to want to let it cool for at least 30 minutes before slicing. After it has cooled slightly, I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese. Now look at that cheesy, meaty, gooey, yummy pizza. By letting it rest for 30 minutes, it allowed the cheese to firm up a little bit. Otherwise, if you cut into this, it would just fall apart. I've made this recipe several times now, and this by far is the best that it's ever come out. Please let me know in the comments if you've ever made Chicago deep dish pizza at home.